What's up? Good morning. So this is a good learning lesson for me and everybody else who's watching this. Maybe you can learn. But uh, I got a message on. I put out a Facebook ad. I got a message on Facebook that how much for a three-ton system. So I gave him a ballpark, and then uh, he tried to negotiate. And I said, "Let me come look at the job before I can do any exact pricing." I get there. Heat loads 2.4 tons. It really just needs a two and a half ton system. Um, so I gave him a price on that and then left. And then one lesson learned is I just gave him a price because he, he gave me a story. He's selling the house. It's it's in under contract right now. And he wants to know how much so he can, I guess, give an allowance is what I, th what I thought. So I gave him a price left didn't do my due diligence and look at the duct work or anything either because I figured if he had an if they had an inspection done that would have been notated also well fast forward three days he uh messaged me back now I need to go quote him duct work um I need he needs duct work repaired rats got into it well I'm like if it's a minimum repair like maybe it's a box plenum and I will try to film and show you guys when I get in this attic. Maybe if it's a box plenum, I can just patch it up and he's good to go. Include it in the install, a little extra. But do my due diligence, I wanted to go look at this situation first because with rats, you have no clue what you're getting into. So I head over, pop my head up. Um, I was like, okay, I can see where the rats. So I, I get further investigation and I was like, his duck work and I'll show you guys. Um, it is just, it's all flexed and spider box and I can't see what goes where, what's the return. I gotta, I wanna go today, I'm on my way now to further inspect it um, and I'll tell you why. But, uh, so I looked at all of it and the all the flex is just laying on the ground on the studs and one rule of flex and stuff is you can't lay it down like that. It'll condensation and stuff. It'll mess up the insulation and the flex. You'll start condensating, getting leaking through the ceiling, um, all sorts of stuff. So uh, you're supposed to hang flex, oh, especially here in Florida. So it's already done wrong. Um, I told them that I don't. I gave them a ballpark price again to just completely replace all the ductwork, and then I left. Well, now he messaged me back and he says he needs an official quote he's got multiple quotes from companies but he needs an official quote from me that i pretty much got the job um i need to go back out here now but he wants a quote for a repair on the duct work and in my conscience my quality of work that i want to present and do for this job if i was to replace all his flexes in there and leave and just connect them to boxes I feel like it's the labor cost is the main thing in duct work. I feel like it's going to cost about the same as just building a plenum and running flexes off, like really close to it. So I'm going over there today. I'm start me I'm measuring everything out. I'm going to get an exact number to rebuild his duct work, and then I'm going to give him a number to just replace the flexes. Uh, I don't. I told him I will not. I'm going to tell him I'm not going to do the flexes. Um, cause I can't put my name on that unless he signs off on a waiver that I am not responsible and I'm not warranty any of the, the quality of work because I just don't agree on how that's ran. Um, and if you guys comment below, if that's the right thing to do or not, I will give him a price on just replacing the flex cause he's selling, but it's that right thing to do for the new homeowner. Um, coming in so you got to think of the best of both worlds like, like he's gonna I guess he's gonna pay for it um, and then when he sells the house kind of thing so I don't I don't know it's uh so it can pass inspection I guess but usually in this situation a lot of homeowners will just give an allowance to the new homeowners with an official quote and then the new it's up to the new homeowners to get it repaired and stuff I don't, I don't know. It's all different situations I've been in. But this one's kind of weird. I should have just went through, did my due diligence, did an official quote, no matter what the situation was. Like, lesson, lesson learned. I, I should have done an official quote and then also inspected the duct work, even though I'm just changing the system, and do an official 
vote on on the ductwork too. Uh, but now I'm wasting gas and time, and I'm headed back over here to do this. So if you guys can learn from this lesson, um, if you're going just to do a ballpark and you're making the effort to go out there, take a ton of pictures, take a ton of measurements, and just do your due diligence. So if there's any other things that pop up, um, you can have answers from just from your desk. You don't have to like go all the way back and do this stuff. But we'll be there here in a few minutes and I'm gonna climb up in this attic and I'll show you what we're working with. Okay. See, here's one thing. I'll pick the fan on and see. Oh, we got. That's, that's definitely supplies. Well, this is supply. Gonna get a calculation of what all I need. This one looks like return here. That one looks like return there. Those needs still need to be replaced. Ratchet and gut and all that too. And then we got supply. This is your supply. And it goes all the way to a box over there. And ties in. Here's the one here. Hmm. All right, well, so that didn't go as planned. I did my due diligence. I gave them a price comparison of replacing the flexes, which that's what should get done, um, and designing a whole new duct system with better airflow and everything. Selling this house like he doesn't he doesn't care. He's like checking out. It's done. Um, he uh. He doesn't want to do either. He's like, how much just to tape it up? And I told him, like, if I do a patch job like that or anything, I'm not liable. I am, I can't warranty any of my work. Um, I'm, you know, and I'm going to get him to sign a piece of paper saying that. I was like, but I just added on, I'll just add it on to the install, the equipment install price, and we'll do it then. But he just... I really, really, really don't want to do work like that. Um, so I'm definitely going to cross my eyes and dot my T's. <laughs> I think I said that backwards. But I'm definitely going to um, make sure it doesn't come back on me. So close that thing. And I'm, now I know why the flex is just ran like that. It's like a modular home where it's attached in the middle. You can see where the bolts, they just attach the middle section of the house together when they were building it literally just pieced it together so i think that's why the flex was just running all kind of crazy and man i would have liked to have designed a duct system on that one because that would have been the easy breezy but and easy money but whatever it is what it is so uh i upcharged them we're gonna tape it up i'm probably gonna tape it seal it with mastic as best as i can call it a day after that it's just 